Officials in South Korea are still investigating the deadly stampede in Seoul, killing more than 150 people. The victims were mostly younger people and teenagers who were attending a Halloween celebration there. 12 News correspondent Christian Benavides has the latest. A day after tragedy struck in Seoul's Itaewon neighborhood, people stopped at this makeshift memorial to pay tribute to the victims of Saturday's deadly stampede during a Halloween celebration. An estimated 100,000 people were there for one of South Korea's biggest outdoor events since the pandemic. Survivors like this Australian national recounted the horror. There's so many people. <laughs> what are you going to do with 10 people? Yeah. And I had to like turn around and I had told the crowd, you can't come this way. People are dying. <laughs> South Korean President Yoon Suk Yul visited the site, a narrow downhill alley in the city's party district. He declared a national mourning period, telling South Koreans, <laughs> A tragedy and disaster that should not have happened took place in the heart of Seoul. Now questions are being raised about what crowd control measures could have been put in place in anticipation of Saturday's event. Itaewon is famous for its crowds and it's not unusual, but this was next level, shoulder to shoulder, front to back, just shimmying along on those streets. Oh, no control about where you're going to move at times. Local officials have said their police and security forces were scattered around the city due to anti-government protests. And over 80 people were hurt too, many in critical condition tonight. Officials warn the final death toll could still rise.